usually the diagnostic criteria we utilize is, is based upon the blast percentage. So for accelerated phase, typically a blast percentage of 10 to 19%, and that can be either in the bone marrow or the blood, uh, is considered to be a diagnosis of accelerated phase disease, and 20 or greater percent blasts, either in the blood or bone marrow, uh, is considered to be blast phase disease. Now, some things to note is there can oftentimes be a dyssynchrony uh, between the bone marrow percentage and the peripheral blood percentage. Peripheral blood percentage can actually be higher in many of these patients, uh, which is why there's that caveat of, of the blast percentage in the blood or the marrow uh, whichever is higher is what can be used uh, to make this diagnosis. Another thing to note is patients, once they have above 5% blasts, although that's not part of the diagnostic criteria per se, those patients tend, tend to start behaving like they have accelerated phase or blast phase disease. So really in patients that have over 5% blasts, you should really start thinking about them kind of with the mindset of accelerated or blast phase disease. Uh, not uh, necessarily necessary for diagnosis, but certainly an important thing for management is making sure that molecular testing is done for these patients when they develop accelerated or blast phase disease, uh, because there may be targeted therapy approaches that are uh, relevant for them. So a good example is about 25% of these patients will have a mutation in either IDH1 or IDH2. Um, and being uh, able to uncover that uh, could greatly impact your treatment selection for these patients.